before we go into how Java modules work and how to use them, let's first get a brief refresher on where we are coming from. Right from the beginning, we organize similar functionalities in classes and similar classes in packages. Now, through access modifiers, you could make a class only accessible to fellow classes in the same package or to anyone both in and outside the package. These have worked pretty fine pre-JDK9, but sometimes things can get complex when you have large applications. Let's look at a simple scenario. Let's take the Decipher class, for example. It's part of the internal implementation of Java's cryptography extension, JCE. Now, the Decipher class is specifically an implementation of the DES, Data Encryption Standard Algorithm. The methods in this class are marked as protected because it is not intended for direct public use. I can create an object of the class because it is public, but I can't use the methods because they are protected. One shortcut, of course, a rough shortcut to solve this, is to make my class be in the same package by editing the package name of my class. Now, that way I can access protected methods because at this moment we are in the same package. Now, this works. While this is a rough example, it shows potentially what happens in other situations where you want to access package private functionality. And what you do is you end up putting classes that are unrelated in the same package just so that they can access the same or the needed functionality. They end up with a package that has classes it's not supposed to have. The decipher class here isn't meant for public use, but because it is public, anyone can access it. Sometimes you need to make a class public, but sometimes you don't want everyone to access it. Now, here is another problem. The JDK has many packages with classes you might not use. For example, the buffered image class for desktop. I may not need it in my simple Java program, but all these unused parts of the JDK are part of my program. So I end up carrying load that I never needed. Now, before JDK 9, the JDK was monolithic. So meaning that developers had to include the entire JDK, even if they only needed a small part of it. This led to bloated applications and slow startup times. From JDK 9 and up, everything is a module. So just as we have get package method to check the package of an object, we have the get module to check for the module it belongs. This is the first lesson in this series. Each lesson will gradually introduce you to the Java module concept. By the end of the lessons, you should have a more solid understanding of Java modules and how to use them.